Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about um, dealing with scope shadow in your variable scope. And I did mention this in a couple of prior videos, but I thought that this was important enough that it deserved its own video. So scope shadow is when you look through your scope, right? right? So when you're looking through and you have it oriented per correctly, there's your etched reticle. But if you're offline, all you see is the black, right? Like now all you see is the black. Well, Normally, when I'm shooting this in the daytime, I just shoot the etch reticle because if I, if I use the, if I, if I, if I light up the reticle, I tend to forget to turn it off and I run out the battery. But if I'm going to be moving and shooting, I'll, I'll turn it on. And the benefit to that is now when you look through it, right? I mean, if you got proper alignment, yeah, great. It looks like a red dot. But if you're off alignment, well, now you'll see it in the shadow. All right. So the, the way that that is helpful, all right, so let's say I'm looking at a target over there, all right, so the way, like right now, yeah, I got the scope properly aligned, but let's say I'm a little bit off, right, so right now, all I see is the black, but I can see the etch reticle, but my left eye can see the target that I'm looking at, and what happens is the brain combines the two images, so right now it's in my left hand, same deal, slightly offline, so the reticle is in the shadow, but the this eye seeing the target and I'm able to combine the two images. So the way we're gonna test this and the way that you should test this um, at home so that you can have confidence in this, we're gonna take a little piece of blue tape, right? And we're just gonna cover up the scope over here so you can't see through it. Okay, so now when you look through it, okay, so now there's the blue. All you see is the blue, right? If, if you're offline, you'll see the black. If you properly line up, you see the blue. So clearly, you cannot see through that. Okay. So let me put this gun back together. So now I'm going to be shooting at that target um, with the blue tape on the end. Again, blue tape is still covering up the end over here. Uh, let's start with the big target over there. All right, let's go to the small one to the left of it. All right, let's go to the little stop sign, right? Little stop sign. All right, let's go to the little white targets now, right? All right, so even though I can't see through the scope, right eye sees the reticle, left eye sees the target, brain combines the two images. I could do this moving and shooting. Transition left side. Okay. Uh, I can shoot an awkward position like this. Right. So I think you guys got the idea. You know, if you've got your reticle on, it doesn't matter if you see scope shadow. As long as one eye can see the reticle and the other eye can see the target, your brain is going to combine the two images, okay? Uh, and you'll be able to, you know, get the dot on the target, okay, and hit it. Uh, and this is the case also with a red dot. The, the issue that I usually run in with a red dot in the wintertime, I'm shooting it, if I go, let's say, from, from, from a warm place to a cold place outdoors, right, in the wintertime, um, it'll fog up, right? So until the glass has a time, has time to... Uh, you know, for, until the glass has a chance for the temperature to uh, be the same as the temperature outside, it will typically fog up and uh, not a big deal. As long as you can see the reticle and then you can see the, the target with the other eye, you can still shoot it. Okay, so same idea here. Does not matter if the scope is covered up or if you're seeing scope shadow, n none of that matters. Um, so this is something that you got to practice with and get comfortable with this idea. But clearly, you guys can see that that it works. And, and for me, that is the main benefit of the illuminated reticle. Okay, this is the only time I really use it uh, for moving and shooting. Um, if I'm shooting in the daytime, I usually just use the etch reticle. At night, if the sun's starting to go down, I'll use it. Uh, if it's starting to get a little bit dark, but usually in daytime, I don't use it. The only time I really use it is if I'm moving and shooting. So. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon. Make sure you subscribe to uh, um, all of my channels because they back each other up. 
uh, on YouTube. I've got Pocono Shooting, Absolute Gun Rights, and the original Sapa channel that goes back to 2006 on BitChu, on Pocono, on Pocono Tactical, on Odyssey, on Pocono Tactical, and on Rumble, on Pocono Guns. Fuck you all so long.